Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Clips Toy Shop. On today's episode, we take a look at my entire Mesco collection. At least I think. So this will be part two of my video of letting go. When I say let go, essentially I am talking about the boxes. I have already did a similar video with my Storm Collectibles. Now all of those figures are out of packaging. I'm going to do the same with my Mezco figures. If you're wondering why I am throwing away these boxes, it's because of space. It is simple as that. I don't have the space for all of the action figures that I have. Keeping them in package takes up additional space. So just before you, I have 47 packages. In total, that's about 51 figures, if I'm not mistaken, as Ghostbusters contain a four pack and a Popeye and Bluto is a two pack. All right, so I'm gonna tilt the camera. I think I'm gonna work my way from the right down. Just looking at the bottom, you see the Ghostbusters four pack. I've already reviewed that. For anyone who's interested, you can check out that full review. Just panning up and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. So Mezco was the only place that I was going for my DC figures. Now with McFarlane, that has changed some. But just to give you an idea of some of my DC figures, I really was focusing on the Justice League. I'm hoping that they continue to pump out, pump out uh, more characters. So just looking from the bottom up, you see the Red Sun as well as the Green Lantern. That is the Hal Jordan version, which comes in a steel case. Not sure why they do the steel cases for some figures. For example... John Stewart version of Green Lantern didn't come with uh, that casing. However, those figures are essentially the same size, same accessories. The same thing with the Red Sun Superman, uh, as well as Magneto, the white version, and the purple version. So I, I don't know what it is about the steel cases. Uh, so for Deathstroke, I actually have two versions. I have the all black one, which is in the steel case. And if you look up a little bit, you can see in the... All right, so I did a whole lot of talking and realized that I was not recording. So I'm really not sure what part we're at, but I'm just going to start with the Aquaman, uh, which I've done a review for, as well as the Green Lantern, John Stewart version sitting above him. Uh, the next box up would be my Flash. Then the Superman, which I've been very disappointed. That figure has been in the package ever since I've taken it out from uh, day one, and that's been at least two years ago. Strongly considering selling that Superman, especially being that he's commanding a high price and it's just not a great figure. So down to the left, you have the suicide, suicide version of Harley Quinn. I just recently purchased this. This figure has been available for two years now. Didn't want it before. Not sure what led me to wanting it now. I think it was the punk version of Joker that's above it. Uh, above that, we have the more traditional version of Harley Quinn, which I plan to review sometime soon. I'm going to continue to pan up. So we have Zoom, the Green Arrow. I think that's the tactical version of Batman. We have Shazam, which I really like. We have the Jim Gordon uh, Mesco. I reviewed that. And then just panning to the left, we have Batman Beyond. I think it's... What's next? Batman Beyond. I'm not sure. Catwoman. That's what it is. Then it's an Ascending Knight uh, Batman, which I don't remember buying. It's the Batman versus Superman uh, Batman, but the one with the coat. Uh, for, so, Nightmare Batman. Then it's Wonder Woman, which I also reviewed. Very good figure. Looking down, it's another version of Catwoman. I think this is her purple suit. So just bringing the camera down some and just shifting to the left. Okay, so we'll start with what is my third Deadpool. Next to that is the Ronin Wolverine. Fantastic figure. Uh, Punisher, which I pretty much left in box. Never really got the chance to check that one out. Below that, I believe that's Moon Knight, which I have reviewed. Spider-Man... Is it far from, it's not the far from home made up suit, but I think it's the specialty suit. I could be wrong. Below that is Blade, great figure. Next we have Doctor Strange, the Black Panther, which I reviewed, Iron Man, Gambit I recently reviewed. I think that's Old Man Logan. I, I don't even think I've taken that figure out of the package. And there's my third Deadpool. So just shimmering to the left a little bit, and I'm going to zoom in. It's sort of my one-off figures. So there are my Star Trek figures. I'm currently missing Captain Kirk. I would have bought them already, but I didn't realize which figure I was missing. But now having them in hand, I clearly see. Aside from that is Popeye, which I reviewed. 
Space Ghost, this is the glow in the dark version. I want the original version. Here are some of my horror figures. Freddy, It, which I was planning on reviewing, but just never got around to it. Popeye and Bluto, uh, very excited for this two pack. I should be reviewing this one relatively soon. And Nosferatu. You know, I actually thought that I had more Mezco figures than this. I don't have any of the, well, that was a poor way to say that. So I don't have Cyclops. Cyclops, I don't like the way that he looks. I don't have their version of suited Wolverine. Don't like how it looks. And I don't have Cable because I felt it's too small. I am awaiting for some of their DC figures, Mr. Freeze, Two-Face, and the character who named just elude me at this moment, Something Beast, KG Beast. I'll also be picking up the Hellboy, definitely the Doctor Fate, and Conan. Um, aside from those figures, I don't know if there's anything else that I'm hyped about. Whenever Iron Fist release, I will wait for that figure to be discounted. Once it's discounted, more than likely I'll pick it up. So let me get these open and show you the process. All right, I'm holding this camera freehand, so just bear with me. Just wanted to show you the difference in the size of boxes by Mezco. And I'm not sure why we get this variation in sizes. These are the two same figures come with the same accessories, but the boxes are much different in size. So I actually prefer the smaller box. And for these 10 boxes, I was trying to figure out why do we get these as opposed to this box as I have this version of Iron Man and the first version of Iron Man, which came in a box this size. The difference is with the PX version exclusives, it appears that all of their items come in this box or this 10. So just before ending this video, I want to show you the importance of placing these bags in plastic seals. So I had these two three figures just laying on top. I'm just gonna pull them out for a moment. They weren't rolling around. I didn't actually leave them on top of each other, but the black from this figure rubbed off big time onto this yellow. I mean, big time. And all may not be coming across on camera, but I assure you, it's a lot of paint rub. And the same thing here. You can see areas up there, some red hair. So don't put your figures into a bin without pop properly wrapping them. So here are some of the figures wrapped in plastic. I think this is five by 12 maybe. And here are the figures that are in a container. I think this is a 47 quart, could be wrong. So in one singular row, you can get up to 16 figures, doubling 32. But being that these Mezco figures are so light, I'm actually going to put at least three rolls of figures, so at least 48 figures per unit. Now that I've unboxed my Storm Collectibles and Mezco figures, I'm strongly considering doing the same with my Hot Toys. No, you can't tell, but I assure you there are a lot of items in here. There are two tumblers packed in a box. This is about 20% of my collection. So, thank you for tuning in to Mr. Clips Toy Shop, and I hope to see you during the next review.